and we're going to use the top of this pineapple to grow another pineapple. And then we're going to sell that pineapple in order to fund us buying more pineapples. And this is like a repeat process. We'll eat the pineapple itself, and the top will sell to some unsuspecting client that comes in here to buy a pineapple tree. So here we have our pineapple. So what we're going to do is we're going to use my trusty World War II knife. This is a knife that was given to me, and it was actually carried on D-Day. So we're going to recycle that too. We're going to use it. And what we do is we carefully, so we don't cut our fingers because they grow very slowly. We're going to cut this old boy off here, like that. Okay. We're going to take this. That's what we're going to eat. And we're going to pull these little parts of the pineapple off in order to have the pineapple have a stem in here for which it will be used to grow the new roots. And these sometimes come off a little difficultly, but we'll get them. Pull them off. Pull them off all the way around, see, the best we can. And as we start up the stem, it gets a little easier to pull off. And we're going to pull a whole bunch of these off, just the like of that. Opening up the stem, so you see a nice stem there. You can hear my granddaughter crying in the background. She wants to be in here on the action too. There, now we have a little bit of stem. Now I'm going to recycle my Manhattan bagel cup by putting this into it. Now what I want to do is I want to let this into the cup a little bit, not all the way. As you see, it's getting completely inundated. I just want this part of the uh, stem to be wet. So the excess water will recycle that and we'll just put her down here till we see how much we have to do. Pour some more out. And we're going to pour a little more out. A little more. We're almost there. Okay, we're right about there. Now, we just let that go just like that. And pretty soon this will start to root out. And after it roots out, then we'll put it into potting soil. You can do this by putting it directly into potting soil. But sometimes it doesn't have the, the correct drainage or the right amount of air. And sometimes they rot off. So what we're going to do now is we're going to let this grow new roots right out of the stem that's showing right here. And after it grows new roots, then we'll put it into the potting soil. It should take a couple of weeks. And what we're going to do is we're going to mark this water line right in here with a pen so that we continually have the water at the, the correct level and the same level because water will evaporate. So we're going to put this down and now we're going to mark the water level. Look at that. I should have been an artist. Well, I am an artist of such. such. There we are, just like that. Now we know where the water belongs. We put it right up here. And we let her go to town and do its thing. And we clean up this. This mess will be thrown out. And this will be eaten. This is our potting soil mix has a lot of vermiculite, perlite, and also it has a lot of wood chips in it, pine bark, and here's how we do it. We, we level this out first, don't tap it down, and now we're ready to plant our pineapple. This is our pineapple, and you can see the nice set of root follicles that have started to grow. And what we're going to do is dig a little bit of a hole, set it in gently, and get it a little packing. Not hard, but a little packing to keep it upright. And there we have it. We're going to allow it to root out well before we transplant it to a larger pot. The reason we don't put it in a larger pot to start with is if we have weed control to work with, a large pot will have a lot of weeds. And we save space so we can do other plants at the same time. There's our pineapple 
and a lot of other plants that we've started to grow here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. You can call us at 215-651-8329 for advice on trees and shrubs and planting. If you are interested in buying some trees from us and you do not see the tree that you're looking for, there's an easy way to see if we have it. What we'd like you to do is to go to YouTube and search on YouTube by entering in our telephone number and that is 215-651-8329 and then the name of the plant that you're looking for. If we have it, the YouTube video of it will come up and you can see what we have.